Hello. It's day one <laughs> of our vlogging We're adventures. We're here again with our we new episode all. of Walkish. Walkish with Chichin and Calvin. Why is it called Walkish? Because it's Walkish. You said that in the previous video. You're like, uh, Walkish. Can I change the name every time? <laughs> no. We're just, this is a different park, by the way. It's this the is same Collingwood one. Park, guys. This is where they dump the bodies. This is the path to gloriness. Yes. Passion. Passion. It's so sunny today. That's why I'm wearing we no sleeves. Also do some okay? we need to do There's a picnic have table. A picnic there. In the Sorry. middle of the forest. How can you have a picnic there? Wait, why are we going this way? Oh, Where there's a bug. There's a bug. What bug? Ah! I don't like this way. Let's go back to the main road. No, let's go this way. She's so mean. Jeez. Save me, guys. He's being annoying, like all so mean. Oh my god, why did we walk through the jungle? What's That's what I said. Why didn't we go back? Oh, look at this road. Let's go this way. It's all trees and shit. Wow. Shit and trees. Look at these flowers. They're so sugoi in there. Those aren't flowers. Those, Those are, are beautiful. That's not, oh my god, don't do B-roll. Look at that B-roll. Yeah. This tree is gonna fall. Oh my god. It's a doggo. It's a doggo town, I can't see. Ooh, look at that doggo. Yeah, look at that doggo. What is it? Look at that doggo. Yeah, look at that doggo. What is it? It's a, I don't know. It's a nice day out, guys. It's been raining a lot, and I don't like it when it rains. Show them your muscles. Damn. <laughs> Look like, at those what? gains, though. <laughs> oh, it's a doggo. He says hi. <laughs> hey guys, Chichi here. I'm, I'm taking over the camera because someone can't hold it properly and someone doesn't, know, too, someone doesn't know how to film it. Too good of a <sighs> So. Here we are. I have to do all the work myself. If you want it done, if you want it done right, you gotta do it yourself. Okay. <laughs> you know. Hey. Hey. You are now entering the off-leash area. It's cold. It's like windy. Oh. So Calvin, how do you feel? I'm becoming Beetle Man. Hello! Calvin's a videographer, you guys. From our previous video, you didn't learn anything about him because he won't tell you anything about him. He's just like, I live in the woods and crap. But <laughs> he's actually a videographer. He does web too, but he's a videographer. And it's pretty cool because his people and brands have been reaching out to him for videos. So I think that's pretty cool. I'm a fashion photographer, so I'm trying to get in the industry. If you guys want to check out our profiles and our portfolios just for fun I guess you guys can go check them out I'll put the links in the description below So 
we're gonna talk about what we've been up to for the past few days. Um, so what have you been doing? Kevin's the one that does most of the work. So he's the one with most of the stories. I did auto detailing. Did I say this? Yeah, you did auto detailing, yeah. DJ quack quack quack. <laughs> DJ, DJ quack. Quake. Yeah, DJ quack. Johnny and Miss. They're all just doing videos and stuff. For them. I think that's about it. Mm -hmm. I don't have that much clients because I would like to reserve my time for websites. Yeah. With champion. It's just like even though like he really does like doing video and we hope that one day he can do video full time. He's not trying to do it right now because he gets paid more when he does web. But it's not to say that he doesn't get paid for video. He does not have trouble getting clients or anything. It's just he's not accepting clients right now because he needs time to do more web which is what pays more right now. It's a choice, right? Do you want to do web, which you can make a pretty good amount of money right now? Or would I want to do like video where I have, even though I have clients, it won't make as much as web right now. So it'll take time to build up a client base to make more money later on. We are moving uh, next month. But to do that, Calvin has to do, or has to make a lot of sacrifices in terms of like what he wants to do right now, he can't actually pursue um, full time. It must feel good, eh? Right? Like For when what? people say like, oh, you guys are married, you guys don't have a house. <laughs> but even though the people saying it, they don't have a house themselves. Um, but I'm glad that we're finally moving out into our own space and I hope to vlog that as well when we do move it'll be it'll be fun and look we're at the road already <laughs> why are you there don't what? don't leave the grass because <laughs> the grass is greener on the other side I respect people who graduated any educational background in post-secondary like obviously that's respectable because I, I couldn't like just study for the next four years because that, that's hard. Like it's just not for me. Why, why would you instantly respect someone who has a degree that they don't even like? Well, no, I, I, meant, I meant I respect them because I can't do it and they yeah. can. So like kudos to them for being able to withstand those many nights studying cramming and doing projects submitting it for a grade and then passing it and then getting that degree the diploma or whatever because i've always wanted to do that but i couldn't because um i had mental illness <laughs> depression and anxiety is the worst thing and it's, it's just really hard like to put it short it, it was it's just really hard for me to go to school when i hate my life every single day like I wake up and I dread the day because I, I'm always looking forward to like I would count down the hours of like okay, I wake up how many hours left before I can go back to sleep so that I don't have to live I wasn't able to complete post-secondary even though everyone thought I would complete post-secondary like everyone from high school because I, I had really good grades um, back then and everybody thought that I would be the one to go places in terms of post-secondary and university, get the degree, all that stuff, right? So when reality hit, it, it was disappointing too. Like I, I was disappointed in myself because I'm like, all this time I was taught all these things so that I can use that for post-secondary and eventually get like a nine to five job, which would pay the bills, right? So that I get a constant stream of income but that never happened. <laughs> this is why we started to like do freelance work is because of my depression and anxiety. Unless you live in a country like Philippines where they just glorify education. education. But if you live in US or Canada, you really don't need a degree, especially if you're in creative. Well, obviously you need, a, you need a degree if you want to be a doctor. You need, you need to pass the bar if you want to be a lawyer. Yeah, of course. But if you, if you're one if of you just want to live, are, if you're one of those people who are naturally good with a camera or and like photography, a paintbrush, 
or like anything like, creative. Like for you, like I just picked up the camera for a month or two and I already got clients that's willing to pay hundreds of dollars. But that's because you were willing to because, improve yeah, your because craft. Because I'm willing to learn because it's actually fun. Because I actually like doing it. So I feel like there's a real correlation between liking what you do and you're actually able to make money off of it. Like even in the Philippines though, um, to go, go back to what you said earlier about Philippines glorifying education, well that is true. People are starting to venture off into being an influencer, being paid by brands to sponsor posts or like post um, about the product of that brand, etc. But although that is possible, it just takes a lot of time. And that is something we've learned. Oh no! Is a dog. Oh, it's Kylo. It's Kylo. Look at this tree, you guys. It looks like your average pine tree or fir tree. But look at its needles. It's the softest thing. Isn't it so soft? Can we plant another tree? Since we're on the topic of the topic that we're talking about, um, Calvin brought up this uh, subject that a couple of days ago actually he says that well what did you say like people always ask you questions but like you know when, when you guys meet up again and you're like oh yeah how's life how's everything going and then like you say oh yeah I have this job and oh that's really good and but then nobody asks you if you're happy right like you said something like that what I said was you know how when you go to school you and your friends you guys compare grades and then after you go to school you finish post-secondary, you go work, you guys just compare how much money you get, you make, right? It's just always, like a, it's, a, it's like you trade off comparing your grades and then comparing your how much money you make. But no one compares how much Happiness. happier you are to compare to like other people. We'll get going now and we will see you guys in the next episode. Okay Calvin say bye now. Bye. Come on say bye now. Bye now.